Hey there everyone, welcome back to another fantastic trying to show video and today we're doing um, uh, showing you guys the new method to mod games on Windows 11 or Windows 10. Um, basically a, a bunch of you will comment on, on my some of my easy achievements videos, especially the ones on PC that require mods. Microsoft has changed the way to unlock uh, to, uh, you know, to use mods on Windows. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to get access to the new method to mod the, modify the game, as well as show you again with Starborn. Um, of a title with, which a lot of people were saying that they had problems with. So uh, I'm going to show you, and basically this should work on any game um, with any mods. So once you got the game downloaded, like obviously this game's on Game Pass. I downloaded it from my main account, and now I'm signing into my. I'm not signing. So now, as I'm signed into one of my secondary accounts, of not unlocking any of the achievements or anything. Um, so, so the game itself is like top grid, or it's free on Game Pass. Just on for Game Pass if you got Game Pass. Um, so Microsoft has changed the way to modify games, which today we're going to specify how you do that. So pretty much the similar method I used to do it, which you need to click on the three dots, then go down to manage, then you want to click on files. Usually you can see like a edit file type thing, but at the moment obviously this game, obviously we need to enable this feature at the top, so I'm going to click enable. Now, it's going to say it's moving for some reason. No idea why, like if this game's not a big game, reason why I choose it. I think it's more of just updating the game to be honest. So once the game has moved, I'm guessing it's like in a, in a lock file at the temporary. So now when it says it's moving, I'm gonna guess it's moving to an unlock file which we were able to you know, able to edit the code. Or at least do whatever we want to do. Um, the reason I choose this game because like, it is a short gigabyte game. I know it's not going to take long. Now that is done, I believe. Yep. Now if we go back to the game, I'm going to click on the three dots again. Click manage game. And then we go to files. And then we want to go to browse browse which then it will take you to the C file slash Xbox games or in this case straight to the Starbomb uh, folder for you then for the rest of it when you go down to content um, I think it was this one drag it in yep and then you'll go to assets for this game anyway obviously depending on which game you're looking at it's completely different and we're gonna just drag that one in now once that's done, we can close that folder. Wait, I don't know. Do you mean to drag it in? In? I mean, just to copy it, really. Okay. Put that back in our folder from that. Because I always want to keep a copy just to be a C side. I know we click start up game. I think with this game. We'll click the top one. So now to make sure the game is actually installed, you can click on the, the achievements over there, on the little setting tool, and then you see the achievements unlock, and this should be already to unlock. From here then, we'll click on start a game. I'm going to just delete this card off the map. You want to click on character, you want to make sure the game is on survival mode and then you would customize it, doesn't really matter. Then you click skip done missions. Um, now if I get the achievement to the stay up for map. There we go. Then we click done. Click on the character. And now the achievements should be just unlocking instantly. Obviously, depending on the game, we might have to use a different method, uh, which is that's completely fine. But to bear in mind, um, they 
I don't know why they changed it like this way, but they did do, do change it. But I noticed a lot of you were commenting on my videos, so I thought I'll make a sort of update video to this game as well as to any other games that requires to use this new method to use mods. So basically, this is how they store mods through any Windows 10, 11 games. Obviously, some games um, who doesn't want you to use mods. I think the big, biggest example is Forza. I got Forza Horizon 4 stored on my PC at the moment. So, if you go to neighbor game, if you go to the little free darts, it doesn't give you the option to support mods. It says this game does not support options installed. Manage the features, learn up more. And he goes, you know, takes you the link. Same again, and you don't have the option to export the files. So it depending on which game, but obviously, I, I could tell you uh, from my own personal experience, from all the achievement games which I made for PC through mods wise, like this game. Uh, this game also allows you to export files. I have to enable it. Uh, you click browse. But uh, for like a big game like this, this is only a 42 gigabyte game. Oh, 46 gigabyte game. What you could do is click enable. I thought it's just a little glitch a minute ago. Click enable, click remove, click cancel, click yes. And then go back to the three dots, click manage. And then you'll still have the browse options. Basically, if you want to get access to the folders quicker, that's probably the best way you can do about it. But anyway, for you guys, I'll give you an achievement the update how to install mods to Windows 10 11 games. Hope this will help all of you. But anyway, guys, thanks, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.